Bruh, let me just tell you something. I went down to global media, right? Yeah. And you could you could look that shit up. That shit is a major media corporation. You understand? Global media. They got me in there, and I was there for half an a hour and a half. They had the vice president and the president. You understand? I had a one sheet of all the things that I wanted to do and everything like that. They said they liked the idea. They was they whooped they whooped the whole nine yards. Yo, they said we can't touch nothing that Diddy trying to do that did about Diddy, but we could go hard on Russell Simmons. So that shows me right there. They know the agenda. They know what's going on. You understand what I'm saying? And these cats like Puff and Jay, who's working for them and doing they and doing they deeds for them. They gonna they ain't gonna let nobody touch them, man. So you know, now you know, until they ready to take their asses down. You know, you're right, right. But see, the thing about it is, is they're not gonna be ready till the people stop fucking with them. You get right. it? Yeah. To the people stop and, 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 endorsing and they, what they, they, they do. And people are influence. You right. know what I'm saying? Jay, if Jay fucking throw this shit up, the whole fucking stadium throw it up. As long as they keep seeing that, they ain't, they ain't fucking with that because, like, Jay's a mascot right now. Like, a lot of right. people, they, they, they think that he owned the shit that he owned. Not at all. They, they think that he owned the fucking nest. They don't know that, that these corporations just using him for his image. And shit, and because they know he got the he got the influence in the mind of the of the people. You get what I'm saying, bro? Check it out. I said this on my show on Sunday. Jacob the jeweler used to get all them niggas a watch, two or three watches. I worked for the diamond dealer who dealt with Jacob the jeweler. I used to go pick up money for him. You understand? Right. He told me that. The watch itself cost $125. The diamonds around it was less than $600. Jacob was hitting niggas in the head for $8,500 for them joints. Yeah, I know. It, it don't cost, he go out of the country, get them watches made where it don't cost shit. And these stupid You're, niggas, they keep going to thinking they buying real diamonds. And man, them diamonds be so flawed and everything. But they stupid. Well, it, 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 People don't know that they, they, they don't understand there's different qualities of diamond. Because like I told you, right. I work for a diamond dealer. You got diamonds that come from India. It ain't shit. They shine, but they ain't shit. You got diamonds that come from Russia. You understand? A better diamond, but ain't nothing like a fucking diamond from Africa. You understand? And the British got all that shit locked down from coming out there. A diamond ain't shit, dog. But what they did was they put it on the market and say... This is the stone that we're going to use in economy and, and, and make it uh, uh, make it uh, 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 a rare gem. You understand what I'm right. saying? That, yeah. and, and yeah. Back back in the days, you should have rubies and and, and, and um, what's that? Emeralds. But let me just tell you something. Don't you know spices from China was was just cost just as much as diamonds and jewels. Way back when, I'm talking about pepper and all that other shit that they was making back then. They were selling spike and spices for the same weight that they was doing in gold, dog. So that right. shit, they make that shit up and say, "Yo, gold is diamonds is what you know what what was good. Gold is what's good, but it ain't number fucking metal and stone." Right. You understand? And, yeah, and and they still getting these niggas today. With the same yo, they, yo, 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 fake I diamonds and jewelry. I mean the yo, gold. Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because in, in, you got to realize in the United States, niggas is buying fourteen carat gold and everything. It's more metal in that than it is gold. Exactly. Exactly. You know, like what you call it? This you know, dude, um, what's this artist's name, man? That ought to be stealing these niggas' jewelry. Sean Kingston. One, uh, one of my one of my jeweler man had hit me up because the nigga Sean Kingston stole his chain. Uh, well, he yeah. let it, he let him use it for a video shoot. And he dipped out the back door on them niggas and stole it. But I flew to LA and I got the chain back for him. He charged him a hundred thousand for a chain that don't even cost twenty twenty five thousand. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I he telling me what it really cost. But he 
he tipping out on these niggas, keep stealing all their jewelry. It ain't even worth it. Like you, yeah. you again, you catching charges and, and, and fucking up your name out here, stealing these niggas' jewelry, and you thinking this costing hundreds of thousands, and that shit don't. Some of that shit, some of that shit be fake, dog. For Gazy, for real. I I know, cause I used to. I remember in the tunnel, these niggas used to rob niggas for their jewelry, right? And then be mad at them, cause the shit was fake. They don't rob the nigga for some fake shit. Yeah, yeah, but security used to always. Yeah, hold on. You yeah, in the tunnel? Security used to always start the fight, man, cause them niggas would be robbing motherfuckers at the same time. <laughs> yep. Them niggas like niggas break up the fight, that, break up the fight, digging in your pockets and shit. Yeah. Take your chain, break off, take your watch. Niggas, 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 oh my god. <laughs> niggas snatching your change in your pockets, the whole niggas rip your pockets off, man. The whole pocket off, just rip yeah. the whole pocket off. And, yo, oh. and then at the end of the night, them niggas they all be in the back splitting up shit. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I know. I, 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 I ain't gonna say no names. I ain't gonna tell no house of fame uh, of fun. I ain't gonna tell on none of them niggas, man. You ain't wanna hear it from me because I ain't wanna. Yo, them niggas was. Yo, them niggas, them niggas down there used to kill niggas down at the tunnel, man. Well, uh, we all worked at Sue's together. The right, whole right, tunnel right. crew. Big Rob, Ron, all them niggas like that. We all, by even, we all worked at Sue's Rendezvous together till it yeah. closed down. G, yeah. remember G that was doing uh, security for Flex? Yeah, I know. Flex did him dirty. That nigga caught yeah. a gun charge protecting Flex. He come on, Flex don't want to give him a job. Right. You know what I'm saying? Him and Big Fame was together. G and Big Fame. Yeah, they yeah, exactly. Hold, they used to hold uh, uh, Flex down. But see, that's yeah. how Shout out to man. Big G, because he helped me get a lot of the tunnel security. Yeah. You know, for, the, for my documentary. Hey, Big G, I ain't forget you. I got you, baby. Yeah. He a good dude. G a good dude, man. Yeah, he is, man. Flex did him dirty, man. I said he a stand-up nigga, man. Right. But see, the thing about it, man, yo, a lot of these guys, if you allow them, see, you got to get your just do right then. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yo, niggas could, you know, I, I get in puff ass with what he did to other niggas, man, but I got my check every Thursday. You see, you hear me? I got my yeah. check every Thursday. And the time I put in, I get it. And these niggas is peanuts. Puff used to give us $600 for the first 10 hours. Nigga, we in the studio 10 hours. You understand? Wow. Or I'm yeah. waiting in this house before him to get ready the first three to five, three to four hours. And then after the 10 hours, it's $65 an hour. So, brother, I had the nigga for three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. My check used to be twenty four, anywhere from 1800 and something to $2,400 a week. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Just sitting around babysitting or out in the park playing with his kids. Now, it was some shit. It was times that it was shit and you got to do what you got to do. You understand? But that was that was the few. You understand? Right, right. But he one of them niggas, yo, I, I never had no problem getting my motherfucking money from. You understand? Because he, he never played me like that. But I see him just shit on other niggas and he didn't have to, man. Good niggas. And I be sitting around like, yo... How the fuck are these niggas letting this nigga play him like that? But see, what happens is, it's two things. In their mind, they believe that a nigga gonna do the right thing if you loyal. Right. You understand? So they think that the more I give, one day this nigga gonna give me. But he only give it to the niggas that come like that. Man, I want my shit now, nigga. I need that right now. Or you're going to have this problem every day. Right. He either going to give it to you or get rid of you. And, and, and that, that, was the, that was the same shit at Rockefeller. You know what I'm saying? It's like they, they this is what I was telling uh, people in my business lesson, the one I just did uh, two days ago or yesterday or whatever, that the niggas would throw that word family around to get you to do shit for free. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And they'll take advantage of you if you let them until you do exactly what you say. As soon as you start getting on some street shit, some gangster shit, then the motherfucking check is cut. You know right. what I'm saying? It, Always. That's, that's what all them niggas, they all try yeah. to take advantage. Nobody, they, the richest niggas never want to pay. Right. Yeah, I told you about the cameraman that saved motherfucking Jay Life from, from, from going to jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gave that nigga fifteen hundred dollars, man. Tell me, yo, man, I'm gonna take care of you. I'm gonna take care of you. Niggas changed their numbers. <laughs> they 
That's why niggas be getting mad at niggas when niggas go hard on them, man. But what people in the public don't understand is that it's too few niggas like me and you who right. don't need them niggas and don't need that. That's all right. Right. Nigga, can, I can look back on some of his artists and say, damn, them niggas were sold millions of records, but they ain't got half the shit I got. Hey, the word. That, that's how I feel. That's why I tell yeah. niggas. Niggas be like, oh, choke you broke. Nigga, as long as UPS is hiring, I wouldn't give a fuck, nigga. I'll deliver packages before I sell out like the rest of these niggas. Nigga, I told niggas, well, I'm retired now. I told niggas that when a nigga try to get me to uh, quit my job, choke, man, get the fuck up out of here, nigga. You out your motherfucking mind. I get a pension. I get what you, and now I'm retired. All I got to do is stay healthy. Stay healthy and stay alive. I get a check every month. I'm on welfare right now. I get a check every month. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, and, I, and, see, and I seen dudes do that. Like, I seen Dane tell some of his homies, yo, man, quit your job. Come over here and work, work over here. And they do that, and they gave up government jobs and jobs where they had health care and, 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 and would have got a pension. So exactly. years later, had to go back to that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I, I get it. You know, let me tell you a, a real ill story. G Depp, right? Yeah. I seen the nigga G Depp on the train the day before he turned himself in. Right. The man, I I'm not dissing him. I'm not shitting on him, Gene. That nigga looks so motherfucking bad. He was on the train, man, and he was homeless. And he was looking, he was looking scruffy and fucked up. And I was like, I was sitting across from him, like, damn, that's G Tap. And when we both got off the train at 42nd Street, and I started to walk the other way, and then I turned around and said, Yo, I'm gonna get this nigga some money. And I turned around and I was looking for him to give him some money. Because he looked that bad, my nigga. Like he looked bad. And then the next day I seen on the news that he turned himself in for a body. And I honestly believe that he no, he didn't turn, that shit. He, he didn't know. He didn't know it was a body, man. He didn't know it was a body. He did. No. See, he called himself. Well, I, I, I felt like he turned himself in because he was doing so bad that he probably knew that he'll live better in jail. Yeah, but dog, he thought that yeah, that could be a situation, man. And you could be right, but he actually thought that he had committed a robbery. He was giving. He had gave himself back to God. He had went to some evangelists and shit like gave himself back to God and everything and thought that he had to turn himself in for the robbery. He did a robbery. And he had thought he just shot somebody doing the robbery. He didn't know the dude had died. Oh, so they, shit. So they charged him with the murder. Damn. You understand? But still enough, robbers are the same way. Rob brought uh, g Depp to Bad Boy and everything. And Puff took over everything. And Rob got fucked out of that whole deal. And Black Rob was hot too, man. That nigga yeah. had was smashed. That, that make that money video, take this money? I yeah. was the nigga, that little kid that was in that joint? Yeah. That little kid that was in the joint, Justin, that was dancing? Yeah. He from 116th Street. This girl named Denise, that's her son. I was the one who put them in there and that little girl. And told him about Dapper Dan to get the clothes from Dap. Wow. Yeah, man. It's like, damn. It's like everybody that went to fucking Bad Boy done turned to some type of religion. Fucking Mace, Loom, G Dap, fucking. <laughs> like, that. <laughs> Yo, dog. I told people this in my. I told this on my. Uh, I don't know if you've seen The Last Big Night. One, two, yeah, and three. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. Several Yo. times. I, I go watch it. Just Yo. go get some more shit. Yo, dog, true motherfucking story, man. True fucking story, man, on everything I love. I lost my mother three years ago. I lost my father last year, man. And this is on everything I fucking love. Me and that nigga, the day of the trial, walked to the park, Central Park. He met a priest out there. I swear for living God. The priest, you know, did the hallelujah, amen on him and shit like that. Started praying on told this nigga to go in the thing and grab the dove. He went in the joint and grabbed the dove 
and threw it up in the air. On oh, everything I love, that motherfucker dropped down to the ground like he ain't had no wings. <laughs> what the fuck? I said, yo, choke. Yo, choke. Listen, bro. Yo, that shit ain't I funny. Said, that shit's oh not. Oh my God. We in trouble. That nigga, that nigga Diddy is the motherfucker. That's Satan right there, nigga. I said, nigga, that's, the nigga that's Damien. That's Damien. <laughs> Yo, and yo, he just look at the priest. Shit, yo, he look at the priest like, like, you mom, what the fuck? And just walked away from him. Whoa, that's heavy. Everything man. I love, that shit was crazy, man. That shit is heavy. And yeah. I be on my spirit, you shit heavy. That shit right there, I would have never stood around that nigga again in my life, nigga. <laughs> My man, that you know, like, like, like the thing about it is, man, like when he was going through that trial, I seen, I seen priests and preachers all over the, all over New York. We was going to a different priest, a different preacher. Everybody told me they're going to pray over them. They're going to be all right. Going to everybody church and everything like that. I was like, these preachers and preachers are sell themselves out for anything. Yeah, like, and like I, I was just talking about that the other day, like. Just because y'all see a motherfucker in the church preaching and shit, do not think all the motherfuckers is for our God. Some of them motherfuckers worship Satan, man. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, look at this. Look at... Everybody told me they're going to pray over them. They're going to be all right. Going to everybody church and everything like that. I was like, these preachers and preachers are sell themselves out for anything. Yeah, like, and like I, I was just talking about that the other day. Like, just because y'all see a motherfucker in the church preaching and shit, do not think all the motherfuckers is for our God. Some of them motherfuckers worship Satan, man. Yeah, yeah, because you know, look at this, look at this, man. How people going in the church, and you know, and my mother and them was prayer warriors, and I used to get on my mother and them about this too. And through her prayer, just saved me through a whole lot of stuff. But you got some people, dog, that you know the person is starving, and they come to church every Sunday. You know the people ain't got their rent to pay, and the pastor is living in the mass and driving up Bentley. That don't exactly. make no sense. You and understand? Then about give, you give your fucking ties. The motherfuckers yes. is crooks. You know, and when, when they know the fact, you know that these older ladies might be starving, they got food eat, but they religious and they and they and they wait till the first of the month to get to the church so they can pay their tithes. Come on, man. That's it. I remember my, my mom my mom's went all the way up to Connecticut to see this nigga T D Jakes. She was she loved that nigga. You know, and I I, I let my mother, you know, worship and and, 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 and follow who she wants. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'm, I know I know better than that when it comes to certain motherfuckers. When he told people they could come up on the stage and shit to, uh, to shake his hand to meet him, he said, if you ain't donate more than $1,000, you can't come up here. My mother yeah. never fucked with that nigga again. Yo, I heard that. I heard that. Hey, I heard what, that. The, what type of shit is that? Right. That should be mother, the motherfuckers that can afford to give you time but, to come up but, here for you to bless them. Fucking snake-ass motherfucker. Yeah, but don't. Look at the dude who was raping uh, 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 the, uh, those R&B niggas. And he was a preacher. In Atlanta. Oh, yeah. 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 Come on. Yeah. I forgot his name, man, but he was raping them niggas from... Uh, what was Omarion? Then what was one of them niggas' name? Was uh, Omarion? What's their name? Beach no, Omarion. Then what was Omarion? Them name? Yeah, that's B Two K. You talking about uh, Rasby? Right. The nigga, the nigga, the preacher nigga was raping them, man. Raping, having sex with them young kids, man. Eddie Long stroke. Somebody just said his name. Yeah, Eddie Long. Yes, Eddie Long. Yeah, and they Eddie Long stroke. Eddie Long, yeah, man. Like these motherfuckers. Eddie Long they, wrong. They, <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what he, he got what he deserved if he if he did that. You know yep. what I'm saying? Raping them kids, daughter age and all that, man. Come on, man. 
And then, that's another thing, like, that I don't like. When you got to do, like, Raz, Raz B is like me and you. He, he, he speak the truth. These motherfuckers are look at him Yo, like he's crazy. Ho, 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 ho. We gonna stop that right there, bro. Raz B is Raz B. Because I ain't letting no niggas going up on me and then talk them. I'm gonna tell oh, them. Oh, no, no, no. I ain't talking about that. the sexual shit. <laughs> I'm talking about speaking the truth, nigga. Yo, yo, you know okay. damn well. Right. So, if we, say Raz B. If we living like them niggas, we'd be... We'd yo, be yo, Raz, in, but but you know how these niggas on nigga. the internet is. You gotta say, Raz B is speaking the truth like us. You know what I'm right, saying? Yeah, you right. You right. You right. Because <laughs> we got that we clear. Like that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, my, my, my followers, they, they ain't going to spend no shit like that. They know I ain't even with that bullshit. Well, but you know, I get what you're you know, saying. I'm, 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 I'm getting the same guys. You tell it. Yo, I'm getting the same guys doing the bullshit. You know, they, they think that, you know, because, you know, Puff, uh, what they say? I won't puff to pay me something. I won't puff to do this. They, you know, they think it. They think it's about money and everything like that, nigga. I, I told a friend of mine every day, the other day, man. I'm so glad to be blessed, man. Everything that I ever thought I wanted, I got. You understand what I'm right. saying? Everything right. I thought I wanted, and then after I got it, I was like, I really didn't. You know, you understand what I'm saying? You know, right. from the Rolexes, from the jewelry, from the cars, everything I thought I wanted, I got it. The house, all that shit, the apartment, all that. Man, life is bigger than that, man. It's it's, it's right now. I'm I'm where I'm, this is where I'm at with mine. If I could, I've helped dudes. You know, being a parole officer, I helped dudes for 27 years, and it's a lot of dudes I helped change their life. Right. You understand, yo. If I was some crumb ass nigga and wasn't doing what I say I was doing, it'd be niggas all over the internet trying to expose that. Am I wrong? Or am I right? Uh, you one hundred percent right. You understand? If I wasn't doing what I said I was doing on one hundred and twelfth Street and Eighth Avenue with the same gang slicking the family and with bad boy, it'd be niggas all on the internet from any one of those crooks, crews exposing me saying, "Yo, that nigga wasn't like that. That nigga wasn't doing this and everything like that." Am I right. am, am I talking about? Nah, you right. right. It, it'd be the same thing for me. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, once you a stand-up person, you're a stand-up person. Because right. anybody could come out of nowhere and say otherwise. Right. Flex, know us personally. Envy, all these cats, all these cats know us, they've seen us in the whole nine yards. They'll bring a old hustler up to their station and tell his story. And we got the hottest story that came out of New York in hip hop. And them niggas won't give us a air. Hey, look at me. I, I did the fucking, I shot in the tunnel from 95 to 2001. I gave Flex what we, what, what we know now is marketing, video marketing and promotion. Nigga, like, it was no MTV and BET in the fucking tunnel. Even right. Ralph McDaniels wasn't even in the tunnel. You know what I'm saying, nigga? I had over 200 and some episodes of the public access show. I got a show on Fox and WB in six cities. I VHSs, DVDs. I don't I don't fucking show the world who this nigga was. As soon as that nigga hit the tunnel was over, that nigga got his show on MTV. That nigga ain't say, yo, choke, come be a producer over here. He already know I was a producer. He already know I knew I'd shoot. Produce, write, direct, and edit. Motherfucker never gave me a job doing nothing. Nigga never helped me get a check doing nothing. When but I tried to do the like, documentary, he got all the artists. Like, he got, he still got was all letting the that artists white girl rob him, my nigga. Huh? But still was letting that white girl rob him. Exactly. And, and he, cut, he cut Jessica off because she tried to bring uh, DJ enough in the tunnel to DJ. And that's when he cut right. her off and had the tunnel to itself. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, even, even, I said, yo, Flex, let me come up to the, if we cool, let me come up to the station. Let's have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Choke, I don't want to do that. No, because you can't do it, nigga. You know what I'm saying? He, he stopped, nigga, I, I hit Nas. I hit fucking Buster. 
fucking Eric Sermon. All these dudes are like, yo, you gonna do my documentary? All these motherfuckers know me. They've seen me with the camera in my head since the fucking 90s. Oh, yeah, Choke, yo, I got you. That shit turned around, and they don't do it. That's because they call Flex. Yo, what's up with this tunnel documentary? Oh, I ain't fucking with it. Yo, don't do it. And I and I found that uh, from Big Cap. God rest, you know, rest yeah. in peace, Big Cap. But Cap told me, yo, Flex was telling everybody don't do it. He told him don't do it. Right. But the, the reason why Flex did it, I mean, Cap did it, when they had the Global Spin Awards, we all went to when Flex was getting a, a Lifetime Achievement Award or some shit. Me, fucking the niggas that I used to work with, Cap, we all sat in the front row there to support this nigga because he was getting a Lifetime Achievement Award. He bring Red Alert, Chuck Chill Out, and Joey I.E. on the stage with him. We sit right there in front of this motherfucker, first, second row. Fucking Alex Essendon, he was there. That nigga ain't shout none of us out. He shouted out everybody, didn't shout us out. We sit, me, Cap, we all sit right there in front of this nigga. The nigga ain't even thank us. Cap went backstage like, yo, my nigga, y'all the fuck you bring this white boy on the stage? And they don't bring me on the stage. Nigga, we was Batman and Robin. And shit. Yeah, and you ain't even shout me out. You didn't thank me. Nigga Flex go, oh, yo, my bad. My nigga slipped my mind. How it slip your mind? We sit right in front of you, nigga. That's why Flex, that's why Cap came in and he's like, yo, choke. Nigga, Flex ain't want me to do the documentary. Yo, I'm going to do it, my nigga. As soon as we get back from New York, because we was at the um. The, the A3C in uh, Austin, Texas. He said, yo, my nigga, we get back to New York. Yo, I'm going to do it. He kept his word. He did it. But it's not your flex. How do you shit on me, nigga? I'm part of the reason. Everybody got to see that you was a real DJ. Hey, right. my boy niggas, I took niggas from in that tunnel and put that shit on their screens on VHS DVD. How you not support me, my nigga? Right. When I did the album, when I was doing the release parties, in, in New York for the, the hip hop nucleus, them niggas called around to the clubs and told them, "Don't let me do it." Niggas is crazy, man. But see, people don't understand. The thing about it is, is that the people don't understand that this is what they do behind the scene. They they'll make one phone call and then tell them, "Say, yo, man, tell all your people the same thing that I just told you." You understand? So now it's a ripple effect, and. Everybody love that Ciroc money. Everybody love that revoke money. Or that Rock Nation or whatever like that. The little change they get. It ain't no honor in this game, man. And it, it, it ain't gonna be no honor in this game. It's time, like man. they all wanna be up under these fucking niggas. And when, yeah. when I see niggas get up under them, I question them niggas. I question right. their integrity. I question yeah. their fucking manhood. Because we know what the fuck these niggas be doing behind the scenes. Oh, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? These niggas will tell us. Oh, nah, y'all y'all just mad. Y'all broke. Y'all bitter. Oh, y'all don't know these niggas some undercover homo niggas that make other niggas get on some homo shit. So they got some shit on, on these niggas and they can't go and tell. You can't go no. to the after, after, after party if you ain't with the bullshit, nigga. That's right. That's right. And it is an after, after, after party. You better believe it is. I know, you nigga. I walked in the one. Fucking hanging out with little Kim and Hillary. Motherfucking walked in there and motherfucking, I ain't realized where I was at until that motherfucking weed hit me. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And I know it's, oh, damn, this nigga's gay. This nigga's gay. This nigga's gay. And they undercover gay. But you know, you hear the stories, but then the, then the chicks is in there too. You got chicks in there, so you ain't thinking about it. But the chicks is fucking see, on the but, chicks. But see, the thing about it is that's how they set you up, Joe. Because I've been to a couple of them joints. What happened is they get you smoking that stuff. They get you drinking. Then they want you to pop these type of pills and everything like that. Then they get the girls real close to you. Now you looking down, a girl is doing you. You all set out. If you if you fuck it, a girl is doing you and everything like that. But you so high sometimes into this chick. And then next thing you know, your head will go back. And they be like, yo, move, 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 move. And then you look down. Next thing you know, it's a nigga doing you. I'm gonna kill one of them motherfuckers. Yo, they tried that shit with me. Yo, but, I'll be but in jail right now. Yo, and still it all. Then, then, 
Then it's going back with the dude and the chick. It's always so you you like, oh my god, these niggas is going out like this. Nigga, I, I, I learned the hard way. I had one of my mans at BT try me. This shit breaking up. Damn, I can't hear you, man. I know you done said something funny. You over there cracking up. <laughs> He should come back. Ah oh, man, I hope y'all enjoying this. If y'all enjoying this, give me a thumbs up. Cause we'll do it again for y'all. Try to make their music work. You understand? Jay and and Puff was killing the artists and shooting them down here. They wasn't taking right. artists from here. They it was you you couldn't get no yo, any artist that did something that was from New York had to go out of New York and then do it. 50 Cent, for example. Yep. That, that's the 50 is because Irving them niggas was blocking that nigga in New York. Yes. I, I seen that with my own eyes. Oh, no, no doubt. They they did it. And, 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 and quiet as it kept. You know what else they tried to do to him. Yeah, we ain't gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but... <laughs> no? Yeah, but they, they definitely, they was definitely putting the block on, on 50... I remember 50 had this joint with J-Lo, and they got J-Lo to take the nigga off the joint and put Nas on it. And yeah. they, I ain't no disrespect to Nas, but that shit was weak compared to what 50 had well at that time. That was right. that shit was crap. And they don't yeah. think it's got J-Lo to take him off the joint and put Nas on it. That was some sucker shit. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah I, I'm, yo, I'm going to tell you, Jew. Everybody think 50 was the first one who was, you know, throwing those hooks on his 16 bars. Remember he was doing the mixtapes? Oh, yeah, and he was yeah, taking yeah. People, And he'd throw, he'd, 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 he'd throw a hook on there when he doing the bar. Because usually they used to take people music and just rap straight through it. Right, right, right. Everybody think 50 was the first dude who started that. They think that came from 50. Who was the, who was the first one? This dude from 112th Street named Mel. They call him Swab. He was mm. he was about he was with these uh, uh he was with this crew called No Fear at Black Hands, and he was doing stuff up in Black Hands. And 50 heard him and heard his stuff, and went and snatched that up and started right. doing it. And he, he was the first one to put it on mixtape to go out on the street. Because people right. wasn't doing that. And that's what made 50 hot. Yeah, it did. Because 50 was killing those shit with uh, them remakes of people's songs. Right? And shit. Mel was, Mel was doing that and making his own hook. 50 took his formula and ran with it in the street. Wow. Hey, hey rest in peace, Chaz. Rest in peace, Chaz. Yeah, good brother, man. Very good Chaz brother. Is a cool dude, man. Very educated, yeah. smart, did his dirt, cleaned it up, and started giving back to the community. You know what I'm saying? I, you yeah. know, listen here, man. I ain't got a problem with dudes doing their dirt and everything like that. Because sometimes they don't know better. You got to realize there's some of these guys out here that never even talk to anybody positive in their life. You understand? All they know is the streets. All they know is getting it from the streets.